and to deal with very critical aspects of the commission of inquiry. Okay. The questions about its mandate, the questions about whether or not people can be punished criminally after the commission is done with its work, okay. and, uh, and a few others. Okay. Uh, questions also about how this, uh, this particular one was set up, whether there was need to go through parliament or not. Right. Now, Dr. Enning, the, 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 the scope, the mandate of the commission is to make a full, faithful, and impartial inquiry into the circumstances of and establish the facts leading to the events and associated violence during the Ayawaso West Wagon by election on the 31st day of January 2019 to, to identify any person responsible for or who has been involved in the event, associated violence and injuries. Three, to inquire into any matter which the Commission considers incidental or reasonably related to the causes of the events and the associated violence and injuries. And four, to submit within one month its report to the President giving reasons for its findings and recommendations, including appropriate sanctions, if any. What are your expectations? Let me start with Martin's point about being informed by history. The history of the implementation of recommendations of commissions of inquiries <coughs> in this country leaves very little hope, particularly when they relate to violence, politically motivated violence, and also when they relate to issues bordering on security and security institutions. I'll cite two examples, all within the context of the historical antecedents of the relevance of commissions of inquiry. If we take the police, and I think this is where Achampong's presence on the commission is very important. And we take the Tibiru Commission, for example, of inquiry, and the recommendations it did with respect to appointments and promotions and exams in the Ghana Police Service. Not a single one of those recommendations were dealt with, mm -hmm. leading to where we now have a service in which you do not know whether meritocracy is what drives the processes for appointments and promotions. The second relates to the Archer Commission report, probably the most extensive study and inquiry into how to ensure that the Ghana Police Service performs its original mandate of protecting lives and property under Act 350 of 1970. Archer's report resulted, I think, in the former white paper from government, of which almost none of the recommendations, and government's own white paper on that report um, were fulfilled. So looking at some of these things, there's quite a long way to go in terms of political will to fulfill the terms of reference. So let me speak specifically to the four very critical issues I think that they need to deal with. I think the one month term is horribly short. Because if I take identifying persons, that will take consistent considerable amount of work. Mm. They may have investigative powers, but they will need solid forensic support. We've got to get access to laptops. We've got to get access to mobile phones. We've got to draw the networks that support or that have supported the recruitment, the funding, 
the factionalization, all sorts of things. It's any matter of interest, that is another extremely wide remit. So I hope that they have a supporting infrastructure that says, talk, talk to Matt, talk to Festus, talk to Abrampa, because they've already done enough work or, and there's a body of knowledge that you can that you can draw on. So I think based on what <coughs> we know of the four individuals, mm. <coughs> being able to put the facts on the table should not be the problem. Okay. The problem is the will to say we will deal with the recommendations. All right. Okay, so I'll return to you yeah. for you to help us deal with the question where you say that uh, and to inquire into any matter yeah. which the commission considers incidental or reasonably yeah. related. Yeah. Your point to, uh, then the question again is, if we still look at the potential of prosecuting, what's the point in doing a process? He just asked that question. Can uh, just asked that, that question? What is the point in doing a pro in doing this and then doing the other waste of resources? Well, after listening to the two lawyers talk, <laughs> I just felt <laughs> that this is actually going to worsen the problem than resolve it. How? I can basically see people going scot-free. You can't vex a man twice. This nation has been vexed by these tax since 1951. Commissions of inquiry, whatever you want to call it. And I'm happy Martin has brought in the Okujeto report of security institutions that have been criminalized over time. And for example, the Tibiru inquiry yes. says within some security institutions, they've become so criminalized in falsified mm -hmm. official documents that you mm -hmm. cannot determine the difference between the original document and the false document. Nothing was done. So we have a long history of waxing lyrical <laughs> as the country bears. Yes. And as I listen to the two of you, and I watch the video that you put up there, yes. I could see people smiling mm -hmm. and saying, listen to them. Mm -hmm. We will teach this country <laughs> a lesson next time there's a by-election. Because we are tinkerers, we like to tinker with the problem whilst this country bends. Probably we ought to have inverted the process and discussed the problem prior to the attempted solution. Mm. Because that would have probably made it much easier. Because when we come to the vigilantism bit, or the term here, creeping, <laughs> this is no more creeping, oh chief. Mm. <laughs> this, is a, this has engulfed, taken over the country. Mm. And it's now the most crucial existential threat to Ghana. Okay. So that would have mm. that for this, but be that okay. as it may. So, so back to the point yeah. you were about developing about the the term three yeah. being white, and what can it take on yeah. in addition, yeah. so that this does not become investigation only for Ayawaso, but for yeah, a much wider. Yeah. Mm. But you see, it also says it gives the the members the privilege of choosing what they think they may want to bring on board. Okay, and I think this is much bigger and too dangerous to give three people that privilege. But whatever they, cho they pick and choose yeah. must be related to My the Ayawaso elect by election violence. Or what brought us to Ayawaso okay. and the underpinning dynamics okay. that led to Ayawaso. Mm. Ayawaso it's not an isolated event. Ayawaso is the culmination of almost 70 years of glorifying violence in this country and using violence as a currency. Interesting. Yeah. And also creating parallel non-statutory security institutions yeah. that have more power than the statutory security institutions. You know, so when we get there, it's all about issues of loyalty and Festus is here. How do statutory security officials who have been trained or recruited, trained, 
and have the institutional ethos of discipline, suddenly feeling that people who have been trained for three weeks are better armed, better paid, <laughs> okay, and can behave in ways that they want. We've just done a major study assessing the motivations and attitudes of the next generation of African security sector professionals. And for the younger officers, they don't owe the same allegiance that Festus owed. So what Ayawaso is teaching us and what this commission must try to unravel is that how will these people in uniform feel when their institutional ethos has been thrown out of the window by the political class who they should always salute and say, yes, I'm a Satu. This commission probably is our possible last chance prior to getting into chaos. Because the guns are there, over 2 million unregistered. We've become a major international transit point for guns. Some coming in as far away from DR Congo to be traded. OK? We've got a bunch of lumping proletariat whose only claim to fame is criminality and violence. They've got tapes and recordings of how people have recruited them and given promises that they can't keep. Aya was so demonstrated to us, and this is where the commission, where number three is key. And I think my elder brother first was related to. Who recruited you? When? Where were you trained? who trained you, who, where do, how much money do you get? And this is where Parliament has failed us. Mm. Because money has gone into these guys, their recruitment and their training. So that some of the concern about steps that could have been taken prior to such a commission, that a parliamentary committee on defense and interior has the authority to have called ministers to answer questions. Public accounts and the finance committees, they approve money <laughs> to be used. You know, so we are just dancing around the port, mm. okay, and using Oxbridge mm -hmm. English mm -hmm. and interpretations. Mm -hmm. And look, let's cut like to the that. chase. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's cut to the chase. Yeah. Because look, let there be a by election in another two weeks. We will see violence three times. <laughs> I'm telling you, because I can read messages now from statutory officers in the security forces, okay, who feel disempowered if they put the tapes back on. That police officers were frightened even to separate yeah, they stood these goons. Mm -hmm. They and stood aside that, yeah. because they will be sacked if they had prevented what was happening. Okay. That's how serious it the is. The impression that we I haven't even started yet. Mm. <laughs> the impression, and when he comes in, mm. people will not be able to have lunch. Mm -hmm. The impression that we have okay. given. So let's quickly conclude on yeah. this commission and, yeah. and come yeah. to this point. I, it is not my intention, but I <laughs> want you not to have your lunch. <laughs> but you were, earlier you were making yeah. some prescriptions. Yeah. Maybe, just maybe, yeah. the commission may have the benefit of the prescriptions that you are seeking to make. You spoke about the fact that they will need experts yeah. to do forensic analysis. Yeah. Yeah. But it is becoming obvious yeah. that they, will, they may even need more than that. Oh, sure. They will need people like yourself, like uh, Festus here. Yep. I mean, what do you have to tell the commission before Get all they the start tapes. their work? Get all the tapes, mm. the history of political violence, a history of non-statutory security forces, arms flows, uh, follow the money. Okay, because that money will lead us. I see, I think, on this thing here. If you Google political vigilantism in Ghana, I mm. think there are more than 350 articles that come up of senior political officials saying, we, we won't disband, yeah. we will form this. Yeah. If we trace, be able to trace the money, okay, and we can get Jaiba, that is the inter Intergovernmental Action Task Force from Dakar, this is an ECOWAS body, whose sole expertise is in tracking money. And I can assure you, we will track the money, <laughs> uh, and the results will not be good. Interesting. But we will get there, okay. and we will provide okay. some, some so, obviously, so I hope they will invite us to, to appear. Right. Mm -hmm. Obviously.